Sasa Mbua sana Unaitua nani na unaste wapi? Minaitua Michael Njehu natoka Grogon B yeah. Uneza niambia nini kusu Grogon B? Grogon B neza sema ni kijiji Kijiji enye meogopo sana Na ni kijiji wasi wana sema gayezi ingilika yeah. of Korogosho. We even have stone houses. We have the living standards are a bit better here. It's the Gomongo section. Korogosho has nine villages. Mm -hmm. So this is the where now the people who are who have better living in Korogosho live. It's called Gomongo. These are our police posts. It's called Gonganja. Gonganja police posts or Korogosho police posts. But then it is the boundary between the most dangerous part of Korogosho and the bushy part of Korogosho. That's so what we have. This is the most dangerous Now this side, yes. It's called uh, Grogon. Grogon. Grogon B. Why is it dangerous? Uh, the crime rates are very high. Also you realize that the poverty levels are so high. Like you see, those are uh, those are houses where people live in. Uh, so it's a uh, so the crime be, the, being that the poverty rates are high, then it means also the crime is high because the young people here don't have jobs, they don't have anything they can do. Uh, so then they indulge in uh, criminal activities. Yeah. What sort of crimes are there? Here we have all manner of crimes. We have uh, gang, gangs. We have also petty crimes. We have uh, even rape cases. Mm. And what is even sad and traumatizing, and later we'll be able to hopefully you get such uh, that story. Mm. The young people here are raping the elderly women in their eighties. Mm in their 90s they are the victims of rape <laughs> uh, it's a very interesting phenomenon we are yet to understand uh, why but those cases are very high Yeah, so uh, the, uh, this is one of the, the so oldest people hospitals. Here. Yes, people live in those houses. Where you're seeing the rugs yeah. and clothes, those are houses. And we have people living in them. So this is one of the oldest hospitals called Provide International. It has been here for the longest time, 90s, from 90s. Mm. And it's a private hospital. 
So this part is Grogon B. Mm -hmm. We have Grogon A, Grogon B. Yes. And now the other seven villages we have High Ridge, we have the Kaduru, Komongo, where we were. Mm. We also have um, Nyayo, Balkans. But this is the most dangerous area. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the main road that connects Korogosha to Lakisama and on the other side Karibangi and the other side Dandora. It's Kamunde, it's the extension of the Karibangi's Kamunde route. Yes. Uh, so now we are on the main part of Korogosha. This side is Getaguru uh, and this side is Balkans. The, 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 the left side is Getaguru, the right the, side is? The Balkans. Balkans, okay. yes. A very interesting name you see over there, Coach Mom. We have a mall in Korovosha. That is the one in orange. It's called this Coach Mall. <laughs> yes, it's Coach Mall. <laughs> this area now is uh, inhabited by the Muslims, especially the Somalis, uh, the Boranas. They're the ones who live around here. That's why you can see there's a very big mosque over there. Side. Those are police officers on patrol. The ladies, the two ladies and the man. Those are police officers. And this is Legio Maria. The Kanisa ya Ondeto. Now we are getting to High Ridge. Hyridge now is also good in terms of uh, infrastructure. You can see we have some gorofas here, Bazamabati. Mm -hmm. uh, and also in terms of crime, Hyridge is safer now mm -hmm. than the other places. It's very rare. Here you can even walk with your phone, unless uh, the young men who wrote people are walking by. Mm -hmm. Here comfortably you can walk with your phone. Uh, and no one asks you anything. Uh, where we were, uh, Balkans, uh, Grogon, those are places where you almost hide your phone, the farthest place <laughs> you, <laughs> you can keep it. And this place now is better because we also have a private hospital there, the best hospital in Korogosho called Tumaini, Tumaini mm -hmm. Clinic. These are houses where people live. Yes, these are houses that people live in. These ones are better off. If you go to Grogon, yes. you find someone living in a shack, something that you wouldn't even call a house. Yes. Yeah. Because we don't have, there, are, there are no any walls, it's just uh, papers. We will need to go there and see it. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Okay, very good. Mm. Majilak. Yeah. Ah. These guys, I know them.
sasa Kwa sana Unaitua nani na unastia wapi? Unaitua Michael Njehu na toka Grogon B yeah. Unaitua niambia nini kuhusu Grogon B? Grogon B unaitua sema ni kijiji Kijiji enye meogopo sana na ni kijiji Wasewa na sema gayezi ingilika yeah. Kwa nini wasewa na sema ngani kijiji zina ya yezi ingililika? Juu, hii ni kijiji ilitengo. Iko, iko coach, na ni kijiji ilitengo juu ya crime, crime ilikujega kuwa juu. Na after crime kuwa juu, hii kijiji ika kuwa doma. Yeah. So, wasewa yezi pitia hiyo njia juu ya maybe wata ibio, maybe wata tenda hapo, udungu kisu, daddy, maybe. Yaani hapo palitoka wazi wabaya sana hapo. Ndio maana hiki jiji ilikuja ikaongea hivyo. No at least hii sisi kama mayuth tumejaribu kuibadilisha. Na unaweza sema mbona wa mayuth waliamulia kuiba? Mayuth tunaweza sema waliamulia kuiba juu ya tumbo tumbo na family. Do maybe unaweza pata employment ya Grogo ni kwa chini sana. Na hii kijiji imekuwa ni kijiji ilikuwa fiti mbeleni. So after makatels kuingia hii kijiji, do ka lost now. Na after closed now, hapo ndio vijana wakakosa mali wanaweza work. Si ati mabijana waezi work hard. No alikosa kitu, wanaweza do. Na hapo ndio wakaona solution to ndio nilete food kwa table lazima nichukue kisu ama gun niende nikaibie mtu yeah. so unasema problem kubwa ni ati mayuta wana do wana do na wana employment employment iko chini vitu zikifika hapo zina lost zikifika kwa makatel zina lost zikifika kwa ministry za gaba ministry za gaba ziko na watu wao kama ni shughuli inafai kuje grogon inakulia hapo juu ita ifika huko na ule kijana ule mkulima wa chini kama youth ana kitu kingine hapo so ana try tu kama ako na familia ai kitu hiyo chakula kwa meza na ndio ai kitu chakula kwa meza solution ame maybe ameenda hustling akakosa akakosa job ikifika jioni anaona atakula nini na kuna msia yako pale kwa rodi anakamu ako na simu poa ako na do anachukua tu option anasema tu Mungu asaidie eh na baki tu amemnyang'anya na hivyo ndio kijiji imeogopewa juu pale pange pitika eh Nini unaweza taka kuambia wase kuhusu Dragon? Umesema Dragon B. Nini unaweza taka kuambia wase kuhusu Dragon B, Gava, anyone tu mwenye anasikiza unaweza taka kuambia nini? Mimi naweza taka kusema hivi. Sasa hii si ile kijiji watu walikuwa wanafikiria. At least sasa hii kama ma boys tulikama up na kitu inaitwa Dragon B reformers. Sisi kama ma youth tuliamua kubadilisha kijiji na tukaamua change yanzi na ile ministry ko corrupt change inaanza na sisi tukaamua sisi kama mayuth tunaweza ile tunaweza kila ile kaoshi yetu pale tunaweza business zetu pale tunaweza vibanda zetu pale tukule do government na tukupiga vita kama usisondeka kibanda kwa street ukule so mimi ningependa kuambia mayuth nene grogon be me change na kila mtu mwenye anasikiza inaende kibadilika ni support ye ni sapo msee anaweza kuwa naye na anaweza leta ya ama youth ama youth wa kuredi kama huko kuna pitika sahihi at least naona movement inasonga juma youth waliamua sisi ndio change change itaanza na hapa eh juu tukiangalia ministry ya gaba bado tuko nao makatels vitu zifiki kwa ground na tulikuja tukaona every boy every dem mdemo anaingia kwa usherati 
hakuna dole. Boya anaingia kwa udingo juu hakuna dole. Ile kidogo tuliamua tupate tuweke security kwanza alafu tu tuweke kachama kadogo kanaitwa Dragon Beer Reformers. At least to make change mta to the level of 20% since my to 80%. Eh, na try na tungese tungependa tu yenye security gave to pay security. Na ishikane na mabijana na yonyeshe mabijana sisi na nyinyi ni marafiki. Na hivyo ndio itakuwa tutakuwa tumesondeka kijiji yetu kuepua na tungependa tu support tu kidogo mtu yote angeweza afikishe sapu huko mashinani vijana wajua wanaweza fanya kazi na mkono wao sina kisu hiyo kisu watu wanatumia kuibia na ungependa mtu anakuja anatuzia miwa nayo asante sana thank you